First, it was the GT Cut and now it's the GT Hustle. I think Nike is pushing to bring back takedown versions of its non-signature shoes. Case in point, the Nike GT Hustle has just received the Academy treatment. Photos of the Nike GT Hustle Academy have surfaced online and to be honest, I did not see this coming. In fact, I was actually surprised because this could open new possibilities, so let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Bear. smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. We first saw the Academy version in the Nike GT Cut and now it seems clear that Nike will have the same takedown version in the GT Hustle. I say takedown because that's how Nike basically packaged the Nike GT Cut Academy. In short, no Zoomax foam, instead we have the standard foam with 4 foot zoom. But is this really an Academy version? All the signs say so. If we take a look at the photo of the tongue, the patch does indicate GT Hustle Academy Flyknit and there's no other way around it. So there's literally no doubt that this is indeed an Academy model, which brings us to the next point, the materials. Flyknit is used in the shoe, which is rather unusual for a takedown model because historically, Flyknit is usually, I say usually, used in Nike's higher-end shoe models. But here we are, a takedown model with Flyknit. Apart from the Flyknit, the top section of the shoe is reinforced by either a synthetic or a real leather piece. However, I think this will have synthetic leather for cost reduction and material strength. For the cushioning, I don't expect this to have full-length zoom strobal unit like the one in the GT Hustle 2 because, obviously, this is supposed to be a takedown version. What I do expect is a molded Phylon midsole and this does seem to have carved out sections underneath for reduced weight and to some extent a little more bottom expansion once pressure is applied. For the outsole, the photos show solid rubber but with a cutout section at the medial and middle which is similar but not the same as the one in the Nike Hyperdunk 2016 while the traction pattern consists of an array of lines that follow the shape of the outsole. Based so far on the photos of the shoe, it feels like Nike wanted to create a lighter version of the GT Hustle 2. The Academy version has a midsole with cutout sections plus Flyknit is used for the upper combined with a rather thin strip of rubber for the outsole. Now if the GT Hustle 2 was designed to be lightweight and soft, to me, Nike took things even further with the GT Hustle Academy. If the GT Cut has been given the Academy treatment before and now we have the GT Hustle getting its own takedown version, that brings us to the next question. Is the GT Jump next in line? Anyway, I have no information yet on a release date or retail price plus the official tech specs of the GT Hustle Academy, but I'll provide you an update once I have them. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about the Nike GT Hustle Academy. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.